by the morning sun. New day have just begun. Girls, today I invited a very special guest. She's my kindergarten teacher. She inspired me to start this channel. This is Miss Burgess. She made the list to A to Z books. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited to be here. I'm one of Sophie's biggest fans. So today we're reading the Z book that makes it sound Z. The book is called Put Me in the Zoo by Robert Lopshire. At the first page, there's a lot of red polka dots. <laughs> I love polka dots. <laughs> Put Me in the Zoo by Robert Lopshire. I will go into the zoo. I want to see it. Yes, I do. So you see, he's going to the zoo. And he's got red polka dots. Yeah. I would like to live this way. This is where I want to stay. The line is getting groomed. Yep. And the seal is getting fed fish. Yeah. So I think this animal's thinking, this is a pretty good life. It'd yeah. be like living at the spa. And these two kids are eating like popcorn, I think. Yeah, it does look like it. Will you keep me in the zoo? I want to stay in here with you. <laughs> They're cleaning like, like, um, hay, I mm -hmm. think. Maybe they're feeding it to something in there that eats Yeah, out. maybe. Could be. We do not want you in the zoo. Out you go. Out, out with you. So. <laughs> they're carrying him out and look, he looks so sad. Yeah, he's like. Maybe they don't so let animals sad. in without a leash because he doesn't yeah. have a leash on, so. Why did they put me up this way? I should be in, I want to stay. You angry? Yeah, he looks very determined. Yeah, he's like, like hitting. Oh, I'm not gonna let them treat me this way. The kids are like, uh, <laughs> they don't really know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why should they put you in the zoo? What good are you? What can you do? Oh, now the kids are asking him. Yeah. What can they, what can you do? Look at question, question, question. Yeah. They're asking him. What good am I? What can I do? Now here's one thing I can do. Look! <gasps> no, all his spots are blue. His spots are his blue. Polka dots change from red to blue. What's the look on their face? They're like, they're like surprised. They're popcorn. They're popcorns on the floor. Yeah. yeah. And now his spots are orange. Say, he looks very good that way. <laughs> and they're hugging, they're going, yeah, this is pretty cool. He has a flower in his And he's like glowing. Just yeah. like he's glowing orange. So I love how the author uses lots of punctuation. So we've got lots of exclamation points and question marks yeah. that really help you change the excitement that when you're reading. Now, look at this. <gasps> what do you see? Green spots, as green as green can be. He's holding a flower. Yeah, they're getting more and more excited. And his glow changes color yeah, too. Yeah, they're like the kids. Violet spots. <gasps> Say, you are good. <gasps> do more, do more. We wish you would. So the kids want him to do more. I can do more. Look, this is new. Blue, orange, green, and violet too. <gasps> oh, they would put me in the zoo if they could see what I can do. That's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> yeah, and he's, his tail is tied around on a branch. He's swinging back and forth like a, what do they call those? A trapeze artist, yeah. the flying trapeze. I could put my spots up on this ball. And I can put them on a wall. The ball's covered with yellow and red polka dots. Just like him. Yeah. He's yellow with red polka dots. And the wall is covered with red polka dots. The children are very excited about these tricks. Yeah. I can put them on a cat. And I can put them on a hat. <laughs> Look at the cat. 
The cat does not look happy. <laughs> cat is like, what? It's like, what? Red. Where did these spots come from? And the, the hat is yep. red polka dot. I can put them on the zoo. And I can put my spots on you. <laughs> now the spots are on the boy and the girl. <laughs> That's pretty Even funny. Oh, house. yep. It's look. It's on the buildings in the circus and on the roof of the cage. Yeah. The spots are everywhere. Look at this now. One, two, three. I can put them on a tree. The tree is all covered with red polka dots. Now everything's the boy and the girl. The girl is taking them off. She's trying <laughs> She's to like, wipe. Yeah. Are these gonna come off? I'm She's sure. like just like. <laughs> And now, when I say one, two, three, all my spots are back on me. <laughs> She's like relieved. She's going, whew. I like yeah, no she spots. I look like, don't look like I have chicken box anymore. <laughs> look now, here is one thing more. I take my spots and I make them four. Oh, they would put me in the zoo if they could see what I can do. <laughs> so he's juggling his spots. Yeah. I take my spots. I take them all. And I can make them very small. <laughs> He's juggling the small polka dots. In a little circle. Yeah. And now you see, I take them all and I can make them very tall. Very tall. Very small and very tall. My fingers can't even reach it. This is a great story for kids reading rhyming words, learning rhyming words, because I love reading rhyming stories. And when I want to have more fun, I take my spots and make them one. So it's one big giant spot. That's it looks so like a parachute. Big. I don't even know that if that can, that spot can fit him. No. <laughs> Be like a blanket. Yeah. Yes, they should put me in the zoo. The things my spots and I can do. He took all of his spots and... It's like we can do so many things. Yeah. See? <gasps> I can put them in a box. In a spot box. Yes, yeah, spot <laughs> box. He's putting them all in a box. I take them out, they look like socks. <laughs> I wonder if you can make them anything, but he had to make them look like something that rhymes with box. Yeah. What else could he have made? A fox. A fox, yeah. <laughs> he could have made them look like a fox. Box, socks, box, rocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I can put them way up high. Up, up they go. I make them fly. They're like in the sky right Yep, now. it's like a big cloud of red polka dots. Yeah. <gasps> wow. I put them high up in the air. My spots fly here, my spots fly there. <laughs> They're like They're literally everywhere. everywhere. Even on him. Yep. I call them back now. One, two, three. Now all my spots are back with me. Tell me, tell me now you two. Do you like the things I do? Hmm. Tell me, tell me now, you two. Will they put me in the zoo? We like all the things you do. We like your spots. We like you too. But you should not be in the zoo. No, you should not be in the zoo. Hmm. I wonder where they're going to put him. With all the things that you can do, the circus is the place for you. I think that's a perfect idea because yeah. you can do so many tricks. <gasps> yes, this is where I want to be. The circus is the place for me. Right here, I see Dr. Seuss. Yep, yeah, it's the cat in the hat down there in his hat. There's Dr. Seuss, like the cat in the hat right here. Right there at the bottom, peeking into the picture. Yep. And that is the end of our story. Yeah. And on the very last page, there's red polka dots again. <laughs> red polka dots everywhere. That's Thank the you. end of the book. All right, so that was a great story, right, Sophie? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think it's about? How about it's about about like being who you are? Yeah. And wanting people to love you for who you are and what you can do. 
and that you just need to find a place where people love you for who you are. Yeah, like he could be in the circus because that's where people love him with his tricks. Yeah, that you can find a place where people love you for the things that you can do and for the things that you're good at. So boys and girls, thank you for reading this book with us. And thank you for having me. Miss Burgess and me really love this book. So see you next time, boys and girls. Bye. I hope to see you again. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, sun is shining so bright.